It's... Hey, what's up, guys? It's uh, Dave from Cousins Paintball, and today we got a cool one. Um, our buddy Steve Darcy, famous for everything GZ Red, sent his CS2 out to Arc Anodizing to get anodized. We're going to unbox it and build it. There's a little bit of skepticism because what he wanted was matte brown, and that can go in many different directions. But we're being hopeful. So let's open this thing up. Let's not cut towards ourselves because we were Boy Scouts. Or at least I was. I don't know about y'all. Sam's throwing up a salute, so he was a Boy Scout. Too. No? Loser. Oh, dang. What do we got here? We got a barrel tip. He opened up. Now that's sick. That's the exact what we want. There we good? You can see it? Yeah, that's beautiful. Yeah. Okay. Cool. So that's what we got. And we're going to uh, build this guy. Cool. So step one is to um, start unwrapping everything. Thankfully, the good people at ARC don't use the world's hardest tape to get off of things. And masking tape will do the job, so I won't have to uh, go crazy doing this. Um, so we'll start unwrapping parts, and then we'll start putting stuff together next. So one of the one of the challenges slash fun parts of building a gun that you didn't send out to get get anodized is putting the puzzle together, figuring out what exactly the plan is. Um, I thought it was all all brown, but we got black accents. We got a couple ASAs, etc. Um, I got bags of internals here. So uh, next step is to put that stuff together and put the puzzle pieces back together. See what the final picture looks I'm going to show you a little trick that may save you from scratching up fresh anno um, or even not fresh anno that you just don't want to scratch your stuff up. Um, all the time I see people taking like a big flathead screwdriver and jamming it in between the two of the split on a feed neck and twisting it so it'll spread out to fit on the, fit on the stub on the bodies. And about 50% of the time they get scratches all over them. So what we do, and a lot of people do, but not everyone, obviously, um, is you'll put something in there. In this case, we got a dime. You'll use a coin. I cover them with tape so they're even less scratchy, or less apt to scratch. And then you just stick the screw that you would normally use for the feed neck um, through the threaded side so it goes up against your coin spreads out you just tighten it up on that so it'll spread it out the wrong way long enough to um, put it onto your stub on your body I'll probably use the right allen key size there you go. spread that guy out spoon and then just loosen the screw up take your coin out and Tighten it up the right way around. This thing's starting to look good. So we got the frame together, and uh, I guess it's pretty much frame ASA, reg, pretty much just on the body stuff, and there's not a lot there. But uh, we'll just keep cruising, so uh, watch along, I guess.
Excellent. So, um, finished putting this guy together. Chronoed it. Shooting great. No challenges whatsoever. Um, other than finding some parts in Steve's bag. Got those all together. So the mech frame's put together. ASA is put on. CS2's shooting great. This Anno came out really, really good. So kudos to you guys at ARC. Um, I think it came out better than what Steve would expect. We were expecting one thing, it's a dash different, a dash better. You don't have to get crazy with your Anno. Sometimes you can go like a single color or a two color or a single color with an accent and get an amazing effect. That's the case in this one. It's an unusual color, but I love it. I'm hoping the owner loves it too. If you guys uh, like what we're doing, subscribe. Um, throw comments. I need um, I need a name for this gun. I have a name for it, but he's not listening. I think it should be called Spicy Brown. There's a lot more of you guys than us, so you can come up with a better name than us, I'm sure. Throw it in the comments. Like I said, subscribe, like. Um, have a fantastic evening. I'm going to go home now. I'm tired. I want to play with my uh, fish.